At the UN General Assembly this week, the US and Russia pointed fingers at one another for the devastating war in Syria and the resulting refugee crisis. Obama took a subtle jab at Putin's defense of the Syrian government, saying, In accordance with this logic, we should support tyrants like Bashar al-Assad, who drops barrel bombs to massacre innocent children, because the alternative is surely worse. Obama's kind of right about Russia. The country has sent tanks and aircraft, as well as military advisors, to beef up Assad's defenses. But the U.S. is by no means an innocent bystander. Weapons the U.S. supply to rebel opposition groups in Syria have inadvertently ended up in the hands of al-Qaeda. And in Iraq, weapons meant for the Iraqi army ended up in the hands of ISIS. In fact, the U.S. happens to be the biggest arms supplier in the world. The U.S. has supplied countries like Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt with complex weapon systems even as their governments have been blamed for committing human rights abuses with those weapons. The thing is, the weapons industry is big business, worth $85 billion worldwide. U.S. companies, including Lockheed Martin and Boeing, sold more than $23.7 billion in arms last year to nearly 100 different countries. And arms exports have actually increased under Obama by 23 percent, the most of any administration since World War II. The majority of U.S. weapons exports end up in Asia and Oceania, although the Middle East received 32 percent of all exports in 2014. And because domestic sales have declined in recent years, U.S. companies have all the more reason to look abroad. Earlier this year, Lockheed Martin CEO Marilyn Hewson said that the company is looking at the quote, volatility in both the Middle East and Asia Pacific as a way to increase their sales internationally. In both of those regions, which are growth areas for us, we expect that there's going to continue to be opportunities for us to bring our capabilities to them. In other words, the more war, the more profit. Now, Congress does control the export of U.S.-made weapons. But the defense industry keeps Congress on their side with $150 million in campaign contributions and lobbying last year alone. Pope Francis even called out the U.S. during a recent speech to Congress. He said the reason deadly weapons are being sold to groups and governments around the world is simply for money. Money that is drenched in blood, often innocent blood. So is the business of war worth the profit when you consider the human cost? 